It's only natural to celebrate the champions of esports. After all, they're the ones who demonstrate true mastery of their craft, conquering all challengers as they rise to the top. But let's not ignore how impressive the runner-ups can be as well. Just making it to the podium is a monumental achievement. And oftentimes, their tales of triumph can be even more exhilarating than those of the ones who bested them. Like for instance, Smash Bros Ultimate player Cola, who clinched second place at CEO Dreamland after an incredibly impressive run through the loser side, conquering a few demons along the way. Despite making it out of pools unscathed, Cola's time in bracket was off to a rocky start after he got trounced by Fox expert ZD in just his second match. The 3-1 loss put an immediate damper on Cola's momentum. His subsequent match would be against Kuro, a Japanese Zero Suit Samus who ranked among the top 20 Smash Ultimate players in the world in the 2019 PGR, nearly 20 places above Cola himself. No, 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 no. Oh no. That's the jump it looks like. Oh, oh he catches it with the up here. Gets it though into a forward smash and Cola takes it over Kuro. Though he came within a hair's breadth of being eliminated from the tournament entirely, Cola's reliable Roy managed to clutch it out and seize a narrow 3-2 victory. There was no time to celebrate, however. Another major stumbling block in the form of Kobe's young Link emerged soon after and would prove to be his toughest challenge yet. Take all the stage pressure you can get at this point, oh my but Kobe God. breaks through it. <laughs> Beautiful finisher there. Kobe's on the board, 2-0. Cola needs to answer back somehow. Down two games and pushed to his limit, Cola opted to switch to Cloud, the character who helped put him on the map back in Smash 4's heyday. Sure enough, it was enough to win the next round, and Kobe, sensing a shift in the wind, made a character switch himself in an attempt to close out the set. And on game five at that. Well, he kept throughout the back there. I don't think he's gonna make it back. Nope, that's it yeah, right there. Energized by yet another close win, Cola busted into the top eight bracket like a man possessed, freezing through his first two sets against Epic Gabriel and Gact with little difficulty. The loser semifinals pitted him against Mars, another godlike Zero Suit Samus who mounted a staggering comeback and tied things up 2-2 despite Cola's dominant early lead. The final game tested both players' knowledge on each other's weaknesses and habits. Though it came down to the wire, Cola's Roy eventually capped it off with a powerful punish the moment Mars got impatient. Goes to the side B, stops it. Pushes him back towards ledge with a parry. He's not able to punish it quite yet, though, but another side B in the side B! That's it! As fate would have it, Loser's Finals would be the long-awaited rematch between Cola and ZD. But things were different this time. Cola's trials and tribulations throughout the tournament had sharpened his skills to a razor's edge. In a total reversal of his earlier defeat, the rambunctious Roy crushed his rival 3-1, showcasing everything he'd learned since their last encounter. Oh, he barely makes it back with an angle! Now a second chance at life, ZD has so much to work on, Beautiful but the neutral beat, the blazer hit is enough to do it. The binding blade has bound ZD, a 3-1 reversal for Cola. Though would go on to lose to Samsora in the grand finals, Cola's rebound from the brink of defeat and subsequent run up to the grand finals was nothing short of masterful. We may remember the champions above everyone else, but Cola proved that you don't have to be a champion to be the star of the hour.